All right, so we're going to cover Airways new phone app. When you first boot up your app, you're going to see the select scale screen. Uh, it's going to offer you a choice of a uh, straight truck, trailer, or a tractor trailer. It's not really going to matter which of these you pick if you're doing a tractor or if you're doing a straight truck. Either of the straight truck or the tractor trailer icons are going to get you to the part of the app that will talk with your in-cab display. So we'll go ahead and click on the tractor trailer. And then it'll come up as searching. Now, if you've already connected to it before, then this will go ahead and just automatically connect and you see the information starts to populate. If you haven't connected, uh, you're going to want to refer to uh, the directions for connecting your app. Now, as you can see, we've got steer, drive, trailer, and then we have several other trailers that are showing up. This is just to show you that the screen is scrollable. If you uh, rack up a bunch of information that's being displayed, uh, you're going to have access to all of it. Now, first I want to cover the log options that we've got on here. Uh, this is designed more for you go into an area, uh, you pick up some weight, you just want to save this information so you can go and prove how heavy you were, send this over to your dispatcher, keep it for your own records, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, so you'll just come down here from your main weight screen and hit save. Right? This will take you into the log file. Uh, you see that it is time and date stamped and that it is showing that the GVW uh, to help you kind of differentiate between what we're using here. Um, you will see above it, there is another log file that says trailer, and we'll go into that one a little bit later. Uh, but if it says trailer, that's from just your trailer scale. And if it says GVW, that's information coming from your tractor scale. So then we'll just click on whichever one that we want. All right, so then we come in here, we see that we maintain our time and date stamp. We've got steer, drive, trailer, GVW, all that information is saved. Um, now it is GPS tagged, so you can just click show on map. And it'll take you right out to Google. And it will show location that you were at at the time of saving this log file. All right, then you'll want to come back over to your map. And then we'll come down to the mail uh, if you want to share this information with anybody. Now you can pre-program up to three different email addresses to be stored continually in the app. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be your dispatcher or manager. Um, they are free form fields. Uh, you can put in whichever email address that you want and we'll cover that here in a little bit. Um, for your location, you know, let's say you were at, you know, Corian, the Corian Fifth. All right, and you can send it, and then you can choose whichever email app that you prefer to use. If you have Gmail or something else that you're hooked up with, uh, you can just go ahead and use that. It'll automatically populate this information into an email for you. You see your GPS tag is there, uh, your time and date stamp, and then of course your information is all saved on a PDF. All right, and then once you send that, I'll just navigate back to your app and we'll go back here. Now you'll see that it's searching and then it reconnects. And you're going to see that from time to time. If you go into a different application or if you put your phone on sleep and it takes up anything that's really got uh, anything that's going to take your focus away from those weights, it's going to disconnect the app and put your weights back up on your in cab display. That way you're never without them. All right, so the next thing we're going to want to look at is the alarms. So we're going to come up to this uh, three dots up here, and this is actually going to bring us to our menu navigation. All right, so we'll come down to our alarm settings. Enter a PIN number. Now, this is fantastic. These important settings, you can come in and change how this stuff works. Um, it's all PIN protected, and that PIN protection is going to continue on your app. So just tap OK. It'll bring you right to where you enter your PIN. And in this case, I've got a very easy PIN. You may want to pick something uh, a little more difficult than just one. Uh, but once you do that, you can come back in, go to Alarms, and you come into the Alarm page. Now, you can toggle the alarms on and off right from your app. Uh, that will affect the scale, and it will save inside of your scale. So if you turn your alarms on, and then you go ahead and 
you know, exit out of the app for some reason, you will see that your alarms are still saved as on on your NCAB display. Now, for programming them, uh, this one's actually a bit easier to navigate than the NCAB display, so you, you may prefer to go and do it this way. You just pick an axle group. It'll come up with your current settings, if you happen to have any that are saved in there. And then just go ahead and type these in. Let's say you want to put a warning weight of 10,000, overweight of 13,000. Uh, you can always go back in later and adjust some of these things uh, just as you see fit. Uh, come down, hit save, and it's going to save. Now, when an alarm condition exists, you're going to see these yellow bells pop up. Um, and it's going to look like this. If you've got a warning weight that's going, if you've got an overweight alarm that's going, uh, these notifications are going to be there. Now, if you'd like to get rid of these, if you're aware of it, okay, you've got it, and you just, you know, you don't want to hear it anymore as your in-cab display may be hooked up to a buzzer, you've got one of those bright LED lights, you can just click on whichever axle group has got your alarm going, and then silence the alarm. This will go ahead and silence it in cab on your in cab display, and then it'll also silence them here on your phone app. All right, you see after a little bit of time that the alarms go away. You've acknowledged them, you're aware, no need to keep them up there. Now for the alarms, you can also access it through a shortcut here on the main display. If you tap on the Axle group that you'd like to use, you can just come to set alarm weight and it'll take you right into it. And then you can go ahead and just proceed as normal. Put in some values, pretty much whatever you'd like, and it'll go ahead and take them, save them, run with it, all that good stuff. All right. Now, in order to cover calibration, we'll go back up here. Calibration is also a pin protected function. All right, so our calibration is going to ask some of the basic questions here for us. Um, are you doing your empty calibration? Are you doing your heavy calibration? Uh, in this case, let's do an empty. All right, so are you actually empty? Are you on level ground? Are your brakes released? Uh, if not, then it's going to take you back and it's not going to let you calibrate because those are three of the things that we need in order to get a good calibration. Much like the alarms, you can also calibrate via the shortcut here on your main wave screen. Select that. Come to empty, and this time we're going to say yes, we actually are empty, we're on level ground, our brakes are released, and now you're going to be able to scroll through and actually calibrate these things. Go ahead and enter whatever your values are going to be. And we're not going to do the rest of the trailers. Just hit save. It'll take you into your settings. I go ahead and hit the back arrow, and you see that our new values that we typed in for empty calibration are now present. And this is also going to save on your in cab display, so you won't have to go through and redo this. It won't be app specific. Um, it, it's all saved there in your load max tractor scale. All right, now we had mentioned earlier how to save email addresses, so we're going to go ahead and cover that. Uh, we'll hit our drop down in the top right. Come down to settings. All right. Now we'll go into email setup. You can go ahead and have whatever you want in there. It's all incredibly free form. I right. go ahead and save it, and that's just going to be there for your use. So some of the additional options that we have. Let's come back to settings. Uh, the net weight. Uh, the net weight feature. Um, some people really like it, some people use it a lot, uh, other people don't really use it, uh, therefore they don't need to see this information. And uh, if that's what, something that you're inclined to use, uh, go ahead and come into your settings, turn it on, come back to our main weight screen, and now you see our net weight is here. You now have the ability to clear your net weight out. And if you're not familiar with the net weight, you want to learn more about it, uh, go ahead and refer to your user manual that will cover the net weight feature more in depth. All right, so then we'll come back up to our drop-down menu. You may have noticed earlier the ability to switch between pounds and kilograms. Uh, this will, again, save on your load max tractor display. Um, so you can just go ahead, toggle the switch, come back over. You see the weights have adjusted, and it'll stay that way until you come back and move it around. All 
And then if you're ever just kind of curious, there's your system info. It'll show your model number and the serial number, uh, what software version that you're using. And then if uh, you don't have the ability to connect this app to a phone, or I'm sorry, to connect this app to a tractor trailer scale, uh, but you'd like to still show it to somebody, you know, show them how it, it works, uh, we have a demo mode. So we'll just turn demo mode on, All right, then we'll come back. All right, and now you see that we've got just some default values that are put in here, regardless of whether or not this is connected to anything, this is what you'll see. And then when you're done with this demonstration mode, I just come back to system info, go ahead and turn it off. One of my favorite features of this is going to be our help screen. Uh, this is a number that is directed to the airway support line. You can email us directly from here. Some of the best features uh, that we have support videos, which will walk you through installations, calibration. Uh, we've also got a link right down here to our user manual. Uh, you just go ahead and click that, and it'll bring your white right to the airway page and it'll have the calibration information up. All right, and that covers the tractor trailer portion of this. So in order to use a trailer scale and just connect your Quick Load Plus, your Load Max Plus to the app, you're not gonna select anything with the tractor or a straight truck. Uh, you're gonna come right here just to the trailer icon. So you see it will pop up. Um, it'll display some of these MAC addresses. These addresses are actually going to be physically stored in your scale, and you can find those addresses by going into your, your menus. Really, if you navigate to your airway screen, tap the wrench, and tap that Bluetooth in the top right, it's going to show you uh, what exactly your trailer is going to display at. All right, so then we'll just select a trailer. We'll go ahead and click on it. I uh, will give it a minute to search and connect. Okay, and now we're connected to our trailer scale. Notice the only thing that we're seeing is the trailer. We can still mail our information uh, directly out. Um, those email addresses that if you saved it in the tractor scale, they'll still be here for use with the trailer. If we're starting fresh, then we will want to come up here, um, come into settings and email setup, and go ahead and enter in the email addresses that we'd like to use save those. We can still create our logs, so we'll save. Now you see that the trailers are mixed with the tractor logs, uh, so just make sure you're paying attention to trailer and GVW trailer. All right, so you see these are also time and date stamped. Uh, trailer weight is displayed. Once again, you can email it to your three chosen email addresses. You can type in manually uh, the location for where you're at and then go ahead and send it using your email app of choice. All right, and in order to get back to your logs, we can come up here to our dropdown, come into log history, select our log, and then of course the GPS tag is there as well. You just click show on map, it'll take us out to Google Maps and there we are. All right, now you will see some options in here, such as alarms. Uh, this functionality is coming in a future update. Calibration is unfortunately the same thing. This functionality will be coming. So right now you can see your weights. You can save it via the logs. You can go ahead and share this information via the mail. Uh, you still have access to the help screen. And to our settings page, Obviously, the net weight's not going to be applicable to a trailer, so it's not going to display that. In settings, you can go ahead and toggle between pounds and kilograms. This functionality it works the same way on the tractor trailer. Uh, you just toggle it, and then this will be saved in your scale.